So with Adam Hinchwood here, following Weymouth nil, Worthing free, an unbelievable night tonight, Adam. What do you think of it? Oh uh, yeah, I think it took us 25 minutes to get going tonight. I don't think it was nowhere near our best. Um, There's too many passes going astray, in my opinion. That it was unopposed and kept giving the ball away. Um, there's nowhere near as, as fluid as we have been in the first two games. Um, but we showed a different side to us, I thought, today. We, we kept going. I think, you know, another day they maybe take a couple of their chances and it's a completely different game. But, you know, we showed our battling sort of side, particularly first half and then second half, I think, uh, our footballers come into it and the, the rotation of the squad sort of seemed to help because we had a bit more legs than them, I felt, as the game went on. Like you say, um the first half under a bit of pressure, especially that first 30, I'd say that was one of the toughest tests we've, we've faced so far in the league this season. How would you compare tonight's opponents, uh, Weymouth, against Welling and, and Dover? Well, yeah, I think like probably played these guys at a good time. I think they're all you know, definitely better for, for them to come um, as they move on and, and get to know the league and get to know each other. I think they'll be a real tough team um, and they showed that the first half hour. Um, you know, really put us under a lot of pressure, but we stood it well. Um, yeah, like I think a lot of it was down to us being bad on the ball as well. But you know, they pressed us really high and you know uh, made it difficult. And um, yeah, the, it, it was a tricky game, but to, to come through that first 30 minutes and you know to keep a clean sheet for the game um, is massive for us. Um, I thought H was good and it was a good performance. I thought both down is their first start of the games and it showed the first 20 minutes. I thought they was a little bit off the pace and um, it took them a while to get going, but when they found their feet, they really took to it and played to play well. Yeah, it's obviously important for, for Dan uh, Bowery, especially actually coming into the team for the first ever time. How do you think he got on overall in his debut? Um, obviously, quite it's quite jarring coming into the team and playing the way we do. So, how do you feel he got on? Oh, yeah, it's quite difficult for him because um, you know he's a right-footed centre back playing on the left. Um, that's why we've seen Tutty play left side centre back a lot for us because it just gives us that balance. And I thought today if we had Tutty there, maybe he could have put some balls in behind where they're pressing so high, left space in behind. But you know Dan being right-footed on that side um, didn't really help him to be honest. But um, you know, he grew, grew into the game, he's, he's a great character, um, he's going to be a great player for us, there's no doubt when he gets fully up to speed and i like say it's his first first start for us, um, come come join us and picked up a groin injury, but um, yeah, I think, you know, with, with Joe and uh, Aaron we've got some real options uh, in, in that position at centre-back and you know, all you can do when you, when you get the shirt is keep a clean sheet and it puts you in a good place, doesn't it? And I think like, there's, there's better, better to come from Dan, but it's a very, very good start for him. That's the big thing tonight. Um, you were saying last on Saturday, really happy with the goals, but disappointed that we'd have to, con we'd have to score three away from home. We've scored three away from home today and we haven't conceded, so you've got to be delighted with that. No, yeah, that was a massive, massive bonus for us and um, it's got to be um, what we, we build on now, really, uh, as a team. Look forward to keeping clean sheets and make it a big part of our game. Um, I think we've proved over the last few years we're a team that created a lot of chances and you know, we, we started the first three games, we scored lots of goals. Um, but, you know, I really want that ruthless side to us um, to, to keep clean sheets as well. Because, um, like I say, I think we um, always create chances going the other way, but it was a bit of a typical Wally Pierce performance when it is absolutely shocking and then pulls out of nowhere to involves in his. So. I don't know how he does it, to be honest with you, but I'm toying with bringing him off, but you just have to leave him on because you know he can provide that bit of magic, and what his second goal in particular was, was an excellent goal. And, um, yeah, it's, it's frustrating <laughs> as a manager often not to give the ball away, but you know, you, your players on that can score goals at the same time. It's a testament to Ollie's work rate, though, isn't it? He just he grafts and grafts and grafts, he moves and moves and moves. He's, he's 100% Ollie. You can, even yeah. if it's not going so well for him, he'll go. I felt first game when he was his captain, um, he sort of put a lot of pressure on himself. I think like he put pressure on himself to score goals and be, be the main man still. And, um, you know, he, it was affecting his game, um, but today his, his work rate was excellent. And Cal Keeley as well, I thought he got the um, player of the week on Saturday, but I thought his performance was better tonight. 
this hold up player that didn't get the rewards because he didn't score, but his actual performance was, was excellent. This hold up play, and he brought others into play and worked really hard. And every time he got it, I don't think he gave it away, he chose good, good decisions. Um, so really, really pleased with, with, with Cal tonight. Um, although he won't get the plaudits, I thought his, his, his game was excellent. He was brilliant, and I think it's more of a testament to how well he did tonight, actually, because he was still excellent on Saturday, I personally felt anyway. Um, but yeah, like you say, his work rate was incredibly good. And someone else with that as well today, I thought Kane Wills, um, carrying the ball from deep and bringing it forward, always in the right place at the right time, seemingly, for all three games in the league so far. How good has it been getting him involved, someone who's experienced this level and doing what he does so well in the midfield? Yeah, we was um, hoping to have him last season. Um, but yeah, it wasn't to be for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, having that extra year with him would have would have been excellent. But you know, I think he's he's proved already in the first three games. He's he's a massive player for us. Um, in and out of possession. You know, I think his work rate's infectious, and you know, he's still at the end there. He's he's trying to hit the ball. And just wanted to sit and hold at times, but he's. He's so keen to, to go forward and drive the team forward. He's, he's still looking for the ball and out running players in like the 80th minute of the game. Um, so yeah, the, the enthusiasm that he's got is, is really infectious to the rest of the squad. And his knowledge and know-how, I think, is, is vital to us. But um, yeah, it's good, good to get the, the squad some minutes because we've got obviously Saturday and then in a week's time we've got Saturday and Monday. So the whole squad is going to be needed. And I'm sure um, there's a lot of fans looking at my team selection tonight and going what the hell has he had a good weekend but I thought it was important that we, we kept the team fresh and it just shows the belief I have in, in the squad to be able to make them kind of changes. Like you say it would have been great to have uh, Kane Wills in the team last season, he was even in a team photo so yeah, that makes it even worse doesn't it? I know, yeah. I know, it's, it, is, it is what it is, he was a dorky player and they decided they needed him and can't argue with that so I'm very very pleased and delighted that he's a, a worthy player this season. Well, like you say, um, some people might have been wondering if you had a good weekend. I've got to ask if you did, because it was a hell of a result on Saturday, uh, the 4-2 win. Uh, maybe a good Tuesday night as well after after tonight. That was, yeah, and, and like I say, we, we've, we've got a real, real good squad. Um, and I think we're keeping to our belief in giving young players a, a chance and an opportunity. Um, you know, Joe and, and Mo that both come through our sort of education, play a lot of games in for the club at youth level, um, getting opportunities again tonight and it's something that I really believe in. Um, it would be very easy to go and get players on loan but um, you know, I've got to believe in our EU structure that we've got here and I'm delighted that Mo got the assist and Joe is another excellent performance again I think. So freshen up the squad actually as you say, Mo coming in for a, for a debut today actually, first um, league appearance, well not a debut sorry, but in the in this level of football. First start, I think. Yeah, so how do you feel he got on today, you know, it's a big jump for him obviously, yeah, but how, how do you feel he got on? But yeah, there's one moment first half where it came into him and he was surrounded and he couldn't really, I thought it was a bad pass into him to honest, but um, yeah, other than that I thought he, he took to it quite well and I'm glad he got an assist. And, I'm sure we'll gain a lot from it, and you know, some of these players, you know, you, you take Kane out, Kane out of the um, the, the side, and I think we're all under 30. It, not me personally, I'm obviously over, but the squad is all all under 30. You know, you've got Nods, you've got Mo, you've got um, Dan Barry still young, Tutty, you know. So they're playing lots of games now, and um, to have to have sort of. Um, you know, Kane in there with, with those young players really does help us and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's got to be what we do, play with lots of energy and um, I think we do that by rotating and, and utilising the squad that we've got. Yeah, like you say, a young team, um, but they're all getting this experience, they're all learning from it and making obviously great progress because here we are, three games into the season, seven points, uh, as of now, second in the table. Won't be getting too ahead of, ahead of ourselves, obviously, but uh, how does that feel to hear that? Second oh, yeah, table. Obviously, obviously, you know, brilliant, but um, you know, we'll, we'll analyse what we can do better, and there is certainly a lot that we can improve on tonight. Um, we'll do that Thursday and, and look to be an even better of our, uh, version of ourselves come Saturday. Uh, another tricky test, and, and that's the thing the games just keep coming, and you know, you can't afford to switch off in this league. You have to be mentally sharp and 
we may be running our luck tonight, but um, you know, for the first half hour, but the lads kept going and, and they give everything, and that's what you can ask as a manager. Yeah, well, enjoy tonight, and um, obviously the games are coming quick and fast. Saturday is coming soon, chipping them at home. But for now, Adam, let's enjoy tonight and uh, yeah, enjoy a 3-0 win. Nice one, yeah. Cheers.